Chakara, Shikete, 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 Riba Potikir Yandra Mantakara, Riba Potakar Yandra. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We, 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 we gonna come in against every spirit of sickness and disease. Let's just break that because many of us, they are sick back home. They're supposed to be in the church, but they are home. Alright, and we just want to come against that as a church of Jesus. And we're going to just bind every sickness and every disease. And as we pray, let's pray and remember those who are not here today, especially Maya. Alright, let's just pray right now in Jesus and God. We touch that lady, right? In fact, uh, before even coming here, I just visited her and I just went her uh, to her and just to, to minister her. And uh, and uh, and to be honest, it's not physical; it's spiritual. Amen. And, and and she told me, "says Pastor, I don't know what was wrong with me, and I don't know what is wrong with me. But since that handkerchief has come, my son, I never told this to my son and my daughter, but today she revealed while I was there, and she says that handkerchief." When you put that handkerchief in, in my stomach, in the center of my stomach, they started praying. Something was started, you know, burning inside. And, 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 and there was a rib, all that thing, like it, the pain started moving in here. You know, something was happening down there. Somebody was just touching that thing. He says, I don't understand what was that feeling, but it was an amazing feeling. And I said, look, there's nothing in the handkerchief. The handkerchief is just a point of contact. Nothing else. But then as I laid my hands, I know that's not a normal pain, that's not normal sickness. It has been sent, S-E-N-T, if you can't hear me good. It has been sent against her. Why is that? Enemy knows it. Amen. The more you come closer to God, don't expect that God is going to pull the, 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 you know, the, the, the garden of roses uh, ahead of you. No, that's not going to happen. The more you come closer, the more the thorns you will face in your life. But you shall not stop working on those. Because in that journey, God is with us. Amen. People, we make mistakes. We lose our destination. We lose our blessings. We lose our breakthrough because we stop when we think there's a storm. You know, the, 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 the thorns out there. So we stop. That's the biggest problem that we make. We should go on because he says to us, he will never forsake us and he will never leave us.
kill the prophets. She will never be a friend to prophets. She hates the people of God. She comes against them. And there are Jezebels in the churches around Birmingham. Amen. Listen to this. There are, there are Jezebels whereby they will not appreciate the pastor's work. They will not appreciate the prophet when they come and they minister. They will always come to bring trouble in the church. They hate prophets. Why they hate prophets? Because they are the people of, of order. They are the men of order. So they will hate them. She will hate the prophets of God. Bible says amazing thing. It says God cursed Jezebel. It says Jezebel, the dogs will eat you. That was a curse upon who? There was instruction that was been given. Throw her down. Throw her down. You have to do something to bring that spirit out. Amen? Amen. You have to throw it out. Amen? Amen. And what it happened, amazing thing happened was that Bible says that dog ate the flesh of Jezebel. But still that King Jehu was like, because she was a king's wife and king's daughter, he respected. He says, go and bury her. She was not supposed to be buried. But he had a mercy because that girl was, Jezebel was, king's daughter, king's wife, you know, uh, king's mother. Sons are the kings anyway. And because of that, she was being, they were asked to go and bury her. While the crowd or the army goes to see her, they only found what? Listen, they found three things. Listen this. They found, they found, they found the feet. They found hands. the palm of the hand. Palm, not the hand, palm. They found the skeleton, the skull. In other words, in other words, Jezebels are still standing in the temple of God. The feet have been left out. Do you understand? No going so deep. Let's just stay here for a while. Something remained. <laughs> so those feet are there and are still in the temple of God. You might be thinking you are with a good Christian brother or sister, but something is there. That's the reason I say, let's pray for this sermon. So there are spirits that move around. They will come and they will start gossiping. Oh, you know, I don't like that man. I don't like that pastor. I don't like that prophet. And that one will harass the whole church. We need to pray against that. That our church will not have those kind of Jezebels in this church. Even if it comes, it will be exposed. Amen. Let's pray that I'm going to lead you in a same direction, different way. Come on, pray. In Jesus' name, pray now. Pray now. Shut up.
says, why? From where did this come? Until I want something, is different story. I open myself up. But this has come from where? How many of you can identify what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Don't be shy. It's, uh, we'll be talking here. It's, it's not your problem. It's just that you're not being that alert in the spirit what's happening around you. We want to abide that. You know how many how many youngsters? No, I'm not talking about our church. I'm talking in general. Because we are interceding for everybody. Amen. You know how many youngsters they are addicted, born again Christians, who so called spirit filled? You'll be shocked. The statics goes. But see, where is it coming? Those of us. This is the spirit of Jezebel that brings all the stuff. The spirit of Jezebel will make you feel rejected. So that the respect that you're supposed to get in your family, you will not get. And the Jezebel will tell you, see, they don't love you. But that boy loves you a lot. And you think you're so beautiful, but you don't know. The enemy is a sign, a destructor against your life. And you think you're so pretty, you're so beautiful. That's why those guys are coming after you. No, they are the assignment of the devil. Watch out. Amen. We're going to pray against all this. Spirit of impurity. If anybody of here that is going on, I don't want you to raise your hand for that. But I ask God to help you. Let's go and shut this down in Jesus' name. Come on, pray right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus name. 
right now for the revival in this church. Amen. While we are praying for revival, I will also assign you guys to prophesy for each other in a few minutes, okay? And after that, we're going to close. But let's pray for the revival to take place. That see, every time we come here, we pray. Something is changing in the supernatural. In the, in the natural realm, you will not see. But if God has to open your eyes, you don't understand how many angels we are surrounded with. Do you understand what I'm saying? If God has to just give you insight of what's happening around you, there's a hand of protection. When you go out, you're protected. But the problem happens when you are alone and you don't feel like prayer is important. That is the time the enemy attacks you. But when you are in the surrounding like this, the enemy will speak 10 times to come before he becomes a person. Amen? Your business becomes protected. Your family, your husband, your wife, your children, everyone is protected because of what you're doing here right now. Somehow you will see the power of God coming to you and say, I can trust that God, but God knows how many surprises you're going to get. Amen? How many of you want surprises? Amen. Amen. Let's pray right now for revival in the place. Go and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, let's pray in our way. We as a pastor of the church, we agree with the church. We pray in the name of Jesus. Father, for the revival in the church.